group of viewers just joining us, we're turning to the latest details on today's 7.0 earthquake felt off the coast of Northern California. And we're joined by UC Santa Barbara professor John Cottle. John, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much for having me. Can you put into context how strong a 7.0 earthquake is compared to the three and four magnitude earthquakes that are a bit more common? Yeah, so every time uh, the number goes up by one, then the strength of the earthquake goes up by about 10 times. So this is a relatively strong earthquake and made a little bit worse by how shallow it is, less than a mile beneath the surface of the earth. I see, and this earthquake occurred in the area of the Mendocino Triple Junction. What is significant about that area? Yeah, it's a really complicated geology area and it's a, a place where the northern part of the San Andreas Fault meets the southern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. It's California's most active seismic area, has the most uh, earthquakes of any part of California. So a really interesting geological area, but also a really active part of California. The National Weather Service said on social media that there was no tsunami threat from San Luis Obispo to L.A. counties. They issued a correction that those areas were still under evaluation. Can you explain what the tsunami evaluation process is like? Yeah, so within seconds of an earthquake happening, there are a series of sensors both on land and on the surface of the ocean and also on the bottom of the ocean that sense the earthquake. And from that, scientists can calculate the location and the depth of the earthquake and also some information about the kind of earthquake. And based on that, they can issue a, an automated warning. But as we get more and more information from uh, more and more sensors, we can adjust those warnings and we can figure out exactly what parts of the coast might be impacted. So as we get more information, those predictions and, and those forecasts can be made a lot more accurate. And so that's why you're seeing updates to those warnings as we get more information coming in. Does this earthquake impact the chance of a big one? Um, unlikely to increase the chance of a, a large earthquake happening in Santa Barbara the, uh, or Santa Barbara County. There'll be uh, some uh, earthquakes happening in the area, uh, some aftershocks, probably a magnitude five. We might expect a few. We might also maybe see a 5% chance of potentially a magnitude six in the next few weeks. Okay, and are you able to say why this quake did not produce a tsunami? Yeah, so this earthquake is called a strike-slip earthquake, which means that the plates are moving past one another horizontally. And so normally large tsunamis are generated when there's vertical movement of the ocean floor. So because there was no vertical movement, there's less likelihood of, it, of a tsunami occurring in this area. And what can people far away from an earthquake's epicenter need to know about the potential for tsunamis? Yeah, so we live in a very geologically active area along the coast of California, and so I would encourage everyone to know when, if they live or if they work near uh, the, the coast, that they should be aware they are probably in a tsunami zone, and they should know how to evacuate, how to get out of the area, that if they're in an, a tsunami area, they should be aware of how to get out and what to do in the event of a tsunami. Thank you, John. Anything else you can share with us? I think the main thing to, to realize is that this is probably not a surprise to most geologists, it's an extremely active part of California tectonically, and so we're not too surprised to see earthquakes here. This is on the large end of the earthquakes we see in California, but I think this is to be expected. There's been something like uh, uh, eight or so of these earthquakes in the last 100 years, and, and although this is the largest earthquake in this area uh, for the last uh, since about 1990, it isn't uh, unexpected to see these kinds of earthquakes in this part of California. All right, well, John, we really appreciate all your valuable insights. So thank you so much for being with us and taking the time to share your thoughts. Thank you very much for having me.